Success! That's exactly what SpaceX and the entire aerospace industry hopes to see with the upcoming Flight 9, a mission that promises to be quite different from the rest. But to make that happen, all systems, especially Starship S-35, must be fully prepared. The challenges that have emerged since the shift to version 2 need to be resolved. On top of that, the SpaceX team's morale is also in focus as many look to Musk for leadership and direction. So how will SpaceX overcome these hurdles on the path to Flight 9? Let's dive into it on today's episode of Great SpaceX to find out. We are still counting down the days to Flight 9. Unfortunately, the launch date continues to slip further toward the end of the month. This delay is largely due to the extensive and time-consuming preparations required for the Starship hardware. Recently, B-14, despite already being stationed at the launch pad, had to return to the production site for further inspection. While the specific issue with B-14 hasn't been confirmed, it's likely related to its engines, grid fins, or the hot staging ring. However, this setback is not expected to take long to resolve. Moreover, since B-14 is planned to perform a splashdown in the ocean rather than a complex landing attempt, its condition is drawing less attention than previous boosters. In contrast, S-35 is now the center of focus. Following two recent mission failures, all eyes are on S-35 to restore confidence in the Starship program. Beyond that, its mission will be significantly more complex. S-35 will not only need to avoid the problems faced by ships 28 and 30, but it must also reattempt in-space engine relight, perform a payload deployment task, and safely re-enter Earth's atmosphere using upgraded flaps and a refined heat shield system. As of now, S-35 has been moved to the Massey test site for a third time. This move was anticipated after a road closure notice was posted for May 21st from 12 noon to 4 p.m. and again from 10 p.m. that night until 4 in the morning on the 22nd. This transport followed several clues that a major test was coming. Engine swaps were spotted, including one engine being removed from Megabay 2 last week, a new one arriving on the evening of the 20th, and another on the morning of the 21st. A static fire transport stand also appeared that same morning, confirming S-35 was being prepared for its third static fire test. We can hope this third static fire is completed successfully this week, keeping the possibility alive for a late May launch. Throughout this campaign, S-35 has gone through a more intense testing process than earlier prototypes. Its cryogenic testing involved multiple rounds, likely using varied fuel levels to push the tank limits and identify any weak points, perhaps a response to the liquid oxygen tank issue that caused the aborted launch attempt during Flight 8. S-35 also underwent two earlier rounds of static fire testing at Massey. The first round involved a single-engine burn, followed by a six-engine test. However, that second test may have encountered an issue with one of the vacuum engines. As a result, S-35 was returned to Mega Bay 2, where the problematic engine was replaced and the vehicle prepared for another round of testing. Fortunately, the second static fire was reported to be successful. Now, all eyes are on the outcome of the third test. This rigorous process shows that S-35's fuel and engine systems have been carefully vetted. Still, the unusual number of tests and movements hint at underlying concerns about performance reliability in actual flight. On the bright side, SpaceX has proven it can detect and address these issues quickly. Even so, after its return from Massey, the S-35 engine system will continue to be closely monitored. Diving deeper into the engine situation, it's important to remember that many concerns stem from SpaceX's transition to version 2 of the Starship design. In this iteration, several engine protection systems were removed to reduce vehicle mass. While this does offer efficiency gains, it also leaves the engines more exposed to damage, evidenced by the vacuum engine fire during Flight 8. Moreover, changes to the engine setup have introduced new vulnerabilities, particularly a phenomenon known as harmonic response. This issue causes sensitive components in the engines and fuel lines to resonate destructively under certain conditions, potentially leading to cracks, leaks, and even fires. With these challenges in mind, all eyes remain on SpaceX's next steps. Flight 9 isn't just another launch, it's a critical moment for the Starship program to prove its progress and resilience. 
To succeed, SpaceX must address the underlying issues that have surfaced in past flights. Even if current tests are promising, there is no room for complacency. Ground tests, while essential, can't fully capture the unpredictable conditions of flight. In fact, both of the previous two missions passed their pre-launch checkouts, but still faced major failures once airborne. A clear reminder that real-world performance is the ultimate test. Beyond the temporary upgrades made to the current V2 prototypes, SpaceX must also start thinking about bigger changes, namely transitioning to the V3 version of Starship. A shift to V3 would allow for more radical improvements to existing systems. The most notable upgrade would be the introduction of the Raptor 3 engine, which promises greater thrust and improved reliability compared to earlier versions. This engine could help solve some of the recurring issues seen in V2 flights and provide a more robust platform for future missions. Additionally, it's important to recognize that the failures experienced by the ship in the last two missions may not have been caused solely by the changes introduced in V2. Several theories suggest that the booster's hot staging system could have contributed to the ship's failure due to vibrational resonance. To address this, SpaceX appears to be modifying the hot staging ring on B-14 in preparation for Flight 9. However, for a long-term solution, the company needs to implement the redesigned hot staging configuration that was publicly revealed last year. This new system should become a core part of Starship V-3 design and operation. Turning back to Ship 35, in addition to the engine system, SpaceX is also working on resolving other technical issues that have been identified. Upgrades related to the heat shield and flap systems are also being implemented as part of the V2 evolution. Reports indicate that the heat shield tiles have seen material improvements, and some areas are now protected by ablative layers to better withstand reentry conditions. During previous flights, SpaceX intentionally left some tiles off to test the limits of these new materials. They also installed a small section of metallic heat shielding for experimental purposes. As for the flaps, changes in both their design and positioning are evident, likely aimed at improving aerodynamic control and thermal resistance. However, unlike the engines, these newer heat shield and flap systems have yet to prove their effectiveness in a live mission. That's why it's crucial for SpaceX to continue monitoring their performance closely. If S-35 makes it through ascent without issues, these upgraded systems will face their real test during re-entry. The goal is for them to perform well under stress, but regardless of the outcome, SpaceX must gather detailed data and be prepared to implement further improvements. Looking ahead, another critical area that SpaceX needs to focus on is the payload deployment system. This part of the mission has not yet been attempted, and even the smallest oversight during installation could compromise the flight. There is also a risk that something could go wrong during the actual deployment process. As a result, extreme care must be taken when installing and testing this system to prevent it from affecting the overall mission success. Lastly, once all testing is complete and the hardware is back on the launch pad, SpaceX must not skip the wet dress rehearsal as they did before Flight 8. The WDR is essential for verifying that all systems, from fueling to countdown procedures, are functioning properly under launch-like conditions. It's the last opportunity to identify and resolve any remaining issues before liftoff. At this point, it appears that the SpaceX team has made substantial progress in fixing the problems that affected the last two missions, particularly those related to the V2 design. They're also preparing more carefully for the new objectives that have yet to be proven in previous flights. Still, a great deal of work remains in the coming days to ensure that Flight 9 is a true success. So, do you think SpaceX has truly solved the Starship's issues? What more do you think needs to be done? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on SpaceX's incredible journey. But SpaceX isn't just tackling technical challenges with Starship. Employee morale has become another critical issue, especially in Musk's absence. Over the past year, Musk has been less present at Starbase, focusing on his other companies and new roles, such as leading the Department of Government Efficiency, or DOGE. While understandable, his absence is reportedly affecting team spirit. One Starbase employee, Dylan Small, shared on X, The team down on Starbase is giving everything they have, but the atmosphere has shifted. Morale is low, people are burned out, and starting to feel like they're being left behind. He emphasized how Musk's presence once inspired and united the team, something that's now missing. Dylan called for Musk to return, listen, and re-energize the team. Beyond that post, internal sources have pointed to deeper issues, weakened leadership oversight, 
poor decision-making, overlooked cost-saving suggestions, growing bureaucracy, fading company culture, and ethical concerns, all calling for Musk's direct attention. Fortunately, Musk responded. On the 13th of May, he posted on X, I will be there next week. He also announced a company talk at Starbase before Flight 9, where he'll present SpaceX's Mars roadmap. While the focus is Mars, this talk offers a vital opportunity to address morale and operational concerns head-on. Musk's leadership is often debated, but his impact is undeniable. His ability to inspire and unify teams has been crucial to SpaceX's culture and success. His return couldn't come at a better time. Flight 9 is a pivotal mission needed to restore confidence after two rough flights and to pave the way for key milestones like ship catching, V3 upgrades, in-space refueling, and lunar and Mars systems. Now, now everyone is focused on Starbase. What changes will Musk bring on his return? And will it be a short visit or a sustained commitment? If you're rooting for his comeback, drop a Come home, Elon, in the comment section down below. Otherwise, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay updated with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.